Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Archcraft. Now, this is one of the ones that was heavily requested by you guys, and to be frank, I do not know too much about this distribution, so this is going to be a first impression type video. One thing I do know about it is another thing that I don't know about, and that is Openbox. I'm not very familiar with Openbox. I've used it a little bit here and there, and that seems to be the default uh, desktop environment or window manager of this specific uh, Arch-based Linux distribution. Uh, but with that said, my first impressions are it is absolutely beautiful. I love how everything's laid out. It just looks really good. Especially this kind of like the tree vibes you got here in this little hello welcome thing. The background's awesome. The, up here, everything looks good. I love how the uh, these are the different work environments. This right here opens up whatever this is. This could be D menu, probably, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, your application launcher, essentially. Over here, we have some system specs, such as how much CPU, RAM, and disk space. Right here, we have a media player, so that's pretty cool. My audio drivers with VirtualBox are absolutely screwed right now, so I can't really play anything. Uh, over here, we have volume. We have the time stuff. If you click on it, it changes from time to date, so that's cool. And then we have our power off stuff here. Now, one cool thing is this is one of the first Linux distributions that I booted up and I was able to put it at 1080p right out of the gate. That's not a very common thing, so I'm impressed with that so far. So first things first, we're gonna be checking out this little getting started window. Uh, it says, hello, welcome to Archcraft OS. A small guide will help you begin your journey in minimalism uh, aesthetics with Archcraft OS. So this is uh, supposed to be a very lightweight uh, arch-based distribution, at least according to what you guys have said in the comments. So it seems getting started in about, we have the same links over here. But if I go over to about, it's very nice and fluid. If I hover over, you can see these are HTML documents. Uh, it's a minimal Linux distro, lightweight apps. It only takes a, a 200 megabytes of memory, so I don't, uh, maybe. Uh, there's no desktop environment actually installed, just two lightweight window managers, so Openbox and BS. PWM, which are the two that I actually do not know much about. So this is going to be fun. Maybe after this, that will encourage me to start deep diving into some of these window managers a bit more, but it's not only minimal and lightweight, but it's also powerful. So if we go over to getting started, it goes over the desktop, some of your keyboard shortcuts to get to the menu. So if we right click here, you can see the menu. <clears throat> if we go to the menu, so you can do uh, press super to do the app launcher, which we saw that. And then um, control alt space will open the application menu. So, and then that opens up this menu with some categories. So that's pretty cool. If we go under gallery, we can see what it looks like some other people have submitted with how they went ahead and got this configured. So some of these are absolutely beautiful. Granted, I think the default looks awesome. I probably wouldn't really change anything, at least out of the gate. But like this one right here, this is super pretty. You could go through all these different ones that people have done. I wanna see what file manager they're using. So I'm gonna to go to places and I'm just gonna open this up or browse here. And there it is. So if I go help about, we are running a Thunar, the XFCE. And I noticed earlier, right before I started to change the resolution, um, we have a lot of XFCE stuff. So you can see if I search XFCE, it's gonna bring just about everything. So it's using a lot of their stuff. Uh, it's probably just how uh, Openbox or whatever works, but like I said, I'm not too knowledgeable on that. Uh, one thing I noticed is it's running ZSH and it has a beautiful little Z ZSH theme here. It's probably very configurable, like anything else on any other Linux distribution that's ever been made, <laughs> generally speaking. Uh, so Archcraft, we are in VirtualBox at the moment. The default kernel that is shipped out is 5.12. Uh, we've been up for 11 minutes. The default package count, at least the version that I'm currently running, is 977 with ZSH, running Openbox as the primary window manager. So with all that said, let's, let's go ahead and install the system, and then we'll go ahead and jump back onto it to see if there are any huge differences. I doubt it. And after we have it installed, we'll go through some of the default applications, and then we'll just talk about it a little bit more. So... First, I'm gonna go up here and we have some main options in our applications menu. We have the getting starting thing that we just saw. 
We have install Archcraft, install Archcraft, expert about creator and everything else you can imagine. So we're gonna just install Archcraft, see how easy this is to do. All right, so that's very nice. It looks like they're using Calamaris. Calamaris is, a lot of Arch distributions use Calamaris, but it's a very easy, very customizable installer. So let's go ahead and run through this real quick, and it's pulling all my stuff fairly well. Let's go ahead and erase the entire disk. All right, let's fill this out. One thing I just have to mention real quick is I really do enjoy the uh, font that they're using here. All right, so we are not gonna log in automatically, and we're gonna use the same password next, install. So there wasn't too many customization options in the actual installer. Definitely not like something like Endeavor OS or some of the other Arch distros, like uh, I think Arco Linux is one of them we could go through. You have a lot of different applications you could select to automatically install uh, when you're going through the installation. Uh, not with this, but that's okay. There we go. So let's go ahead and restart our system. Done. And let's see how this ends up looking. Ta-da! There we are. Okay, so let's go ahead and log in. First of all, the login screen is beautiful. Over here, it looks like we can select our um, window manager, desktop environment, whatever right here. Uh, obviously, these this is what it comes with, but if you want to install this and you want to run GNOME or GNOME, whatever, uh, KDE Plasma, Bungie, UKUI, whatever you want, you could obviously just install it and have the desktop environment of your choice. But let's go ahead and log in, check out the applications. Uh, it's not looking too different at all, and we have the same little hello welcome screen here. Uh, I love the, uh, it, it looks a lot like the Nordic theme in KDE Plasma. It's That's what I run, it's my favorite thing. I can even show you real quick. Uh, first, let's close out some things. If I uh, jump over to this, there we go. You can kind of see what I have going on in the background here versus what this looks like, and it looks absolutely beautiful for my personal taste. So let's jump back into VirtualBox here, and then go ahead and check out some of these pre-installed applications. So we do, our RAM is doing a little bit better, but definitely not the uh, 200 megabytes as advertised, but 500 megabytes is really good. So let's go ahead and open up our application launcher. We The only thing missing so far is the, uh, the installation, which is fine. So let's go through here and check out what we have going on. We have the XFCE stuff, which we saw. We have HTOP, VIN, Ranger. So they have a lot of terminal applications pre-installed. Uh, we have LeapPad, Settings Manager, a bunch of the XFCE general theme, well not theme, general settings menu type stuff, uh, customized look and feel. Uh, we got display, file manager again. So <clears throat> it doesn't look like there's really any applications installed that you don't need or shouldn't be there. So we have Gparted, which is a uh, the disk utility application that they added. Uh, they have Time Shift, which is good. Plank is installed. Uh, Pulse Audio has the uh, Qt5 settings. Uh, web browser, yeah, it's settings. So yeah. Nothing too crazy. Um, looks like Midorti is the default web browser, so I'm not even sure. Um, let's go techhut.tv. This is a definitely, it's super quick. Jeez. My, my, I need a new web host and my website isn't the best when it comes to loading quickly. And that was incredibly quick. That's why I had that reaction. But it's a very, very fast web browser. I don't know too much about it. Uh, Morty web browser, lightweight web browser. It's a little out of date, maybe. Uh, it's a GNU, so that's pretty cool. But overall, I was just taking a look at this because you guys suggested me to. The default look and everything is absolutely beautiful. I do love it. And like I said, the application selection that the developers went with is perfect because it has all the utilities you need to go ahead and get everything that you need ultimately. But with all that said, I definitely have some more research and learning to do when it comes to OpenBox and some of these other things that I'm uh, not too familiar with, so that is going to be my next venture. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you absolutely despised it, uh, go ahead and dislike it so I know. and Or you can leave a comment so I know. That's even funner. Uh, go ahead and subscribe uh, if you want to see more videos and ring that bell so you do not miss them. 
Uh, with all that said, once again, have a beautiful day and goodbye.